Righto guys, so we're here. Obviously you saw us this morning doing a little bit of a run around the Mickey Thompson test track with rocks as tyres. We did just discover that they were at 50 PSI. So <laughs> there's definitely no traction coming from them at all. <laughs> he, he's a rookie at some things. No, no, no. I have not even looked at them since I You can't I even the blame that on anyone else this time. It's all you. I've not even looked at the, the pressure <laughs> since, I, since I picked the car up. So. <laughs> I did just discover that they were at 50 PSI. Um, so we've dropped the sway bars off. Hopefully we're getting a little bit more traction out of that. But Lucas is going to run us through a little bit of an idea of what tracks we're going to hit. So what do you reckon, mate? Well, you know, now that you've aired down, you'll get a little bit more traction. But I don't think, I mean, it's your call. I don't think we go near hardcore climb, though, because I think, I think without you know, a locker. You're still a little bit hurt. Oh, <laughs> this, this, one, this one's a little bit more hurt than me, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm reliving the moment, and it's <laughs> it's an interesting moment. <laughs> but you're in a GU now, so it's a totally different ball game. But you haven't got rock sliders or anything like that, so we'll try and tone it down, make it a bit of bit of user friendly. But no, I reckon we'll do, we'll we'll hit this one just here, which is the top end of the skids to start with. Yeah. Because that's a bit of a hill climb. We haven't tried a bit of a hill climb. It's just all been flat on the test track here. So I reckon we do that because there's a couple little wombat holes. So you know we'll get a bit of a feel of just how capable it is in its standard trim. Yeah, so obviously we, we won't hit anything too crazy steep because the car just doesn't have that drive right now. But a, a positive over, you know, like driving this compared to the, to the Cruiser is the, the brakes work. So the brakes oh, work and the handbrake. handbrake and the handbrake <laughs> works, you know, like, I mean, the things that you really require sometimes doing those hill climbs, yep. it's it's pretty important. Yep. So there is, there is definitely a benefit to to the patrol silence. The, the difference is um, with a the cruiser, they have a, a handbrake drum disc setup yeah. on the back, on so the, it, it actually pulls up both wheels, which on paper is a much better design because the, with the patrol one, when you pull the handbrake on, just 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 say you're you know on a really steep hill and it's got big wombat holes, it locks up the tail shaft right. So if one wheel slips, the diff will open wheels and the car will just slide down the hill Yeah, right. with a patrol. If you've got a diff lock, obviously it locks both axles, but the design of a, pains me to say it, a Land Cruiser, the design is really, really good. They just don't But work. the way that it's been implemented is rubbish. Mm. Yeah, so, but no, I reckon we'll, um, we'll go and hit a couple of hills. We might even have a look at one of the creek lines. We've just got to be mindful of what rock rocks sliders. we go over because you've got no rock sliders. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you ever stood on a coke can, that's what those side steps are. Yeah. yeah. They're just a coke can, so they they will just fold up and dish. They actually cause more damage. Yeah. Because it's the less sealed. clearance you got, and they end up folding into the sill. So. And I would like to be able to open my door to get in and out this time. Just to just to get home. This time. Like, <laughs> Daisy Duke. Um, <laughs> good for you, but <laughs> if it wasn't flexible, that'd be another story as well. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Open but door the, policy today. But we'll definitely get back up to Love Hill and um, we might even hit Bald Knob. Look out the tallest point of the park. Yep. It's a pretty clear day today. Yeah, be nice um, to see it all. Yep. Cool, cool. Well, let's go and hit some trails and um, yeah, he's going to have a look at just how much the place has really bounced back. Yeah. Like, yeah. See how green it is. If you, lovely. If you listen close enough, you can hear the grass humming. It's that happy. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, there's always go. there's always one little joke that's got to be thrown in. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, right. So, first thoughts while we're off road, what do you reckon? Well, from the outside looking in, it didn't look like it faced it at all. <laughs> like, it honestly, like, it, it just, didn't, didn't just went struggle. with it. Yep. Went with it and walked on through. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I was, I was a little bit surprised. I was shocked. Like, honestly, it was just like... So when you first and I could hear it, I think you're because you're used to driving the cruiser. Yeah. Um, when you first went to come up, you gave it a bit more. Like yeah. you wanted that momentum behind it as well. I think because knowing in your head as well that you don't have the lockers or you don't have the little extras. Yeah. That to get that behind you. Um, yeah, but really on that one you didn't actually need it. No. So. No, you're right. Just let the car do with it. Do what it does. Knows what it has to. See, last time, obviously the cruiser being twin locked makes a big difference when you're on that on that hill face when you've got that rock step up and having that clearance. Um, we'll just see how we go here because we're not here to break a car. But just um, yeah, have a go. And if we don't like it, we'll back out of it. So we are back at Hardcore Hill Climb. Um, this here, for those who actually watched on in the previous episode, this baby here, as you can see, it's actually shoulder height on me. This lovely piece was where Delilah um, ended up on the passenger side. So I should say he drove up here and this side here is where he had fought, he had got up, stepped up, made it here, the, the front of it, just didn't make it up and then got pulled over and landed on its side. So um, Cam is currently sitting in Battle Axe with Lucas. Um, they're actually going to go up there themselves. It'll give Cam an idea of what it actually feels like and how it's sitting in Lucas's car, obviously being more similar now. Like, obviously, don't have all the mods, but, yeah, he'll be able to feel how it's going to go getting up. So, yeah, we'll see how Lucas goes and decide whether or not um, he's going to attempt it. Ready, boy. Right, mate. On our way. I wonder if we can just crawl, crawl, unlocked, yeah. crawl, crawl. So last weekend, was it last weekend? It was last weekend, a Suzuki came up here, tried to go up that rock step, end for end at that way. Oh, the, the rock step that you were going to take? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he flipped over onto his roof, back onto his wheels. He had a cage and everything on? Yeah. yeah. That bottom, sort of a bit, a bit more of a harder face on it now, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. The only thing that changes is the depth of the hole at the bottom, really. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's more of a, it's more of a face on it now compared to what it was. Yeah, I don't know. So, what do you want to go straight through here? Yeah, see if you can, and then go up this one. Where you winched out. Where I winched out, yeah. Well, that's the track that way. Don't like it, I like it. That'd that'd be that'd be me. And it'd be like winch. Throw the winch on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Be 
out of you go. Kick the rock, get the wheel up on the side. Uh, I'm trying to do it unlocked on the line that, you know, he's just like, I want you to make it as hard as possible. <laughs> yeah. he, I think he's even put the four-wheel drive stick in a two-wheel drive. <laughs> Alright guys, so there is the decision made, um, we are going to try and bring the new car up Hardcore Hill and Lucas will be riding shotgun, so this is going to be interesting, I'm keen, Ooh, I don't know how I actually feel, <laughs> no, it'll be fine, you got this. I managed to con Lucas to jump in shotgun here, ride shotgun, because last time we were here we had a little bit of drama getting up here so I just jumped in with Lucas before and we did a climb up Hardcore Hill with um, with no lockers. Did? Yeah. He crawled up at a right but as I said before we had parked on about a little bit you've got reduction here so it makes it makes a big difference when it comes to doing this with four wheel drive stuff but we'll see how we go. Best of luck mate. <laughs> I'm not gonna say don't do what you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a big difference straight away, like going from what we're doing now to you know what the cruiser was doing. It was even like bouncing and hopping just trying to get up here and pull it. Like straight away, see the wants to stall. Yeah. And we're not even at the face of the hill. Oh. <laughs> Gotta work for it. Proper. way the wheels face it. <laughs> <laughs> oh the nerves didn't have you too wouldn't they mate? Oh mate. I'm getting a little bit of um gravel rash on the back of the car there. <laughs> the, the one thing that we've got going for us though is the brakes actually work. What's your um what's your thoughts besides that rock face is this here a better line off to the left? Well, yeah, but if you get it wrong, it becomes... It goes wrong. It becomes all sorts of ugly. Yeah, because you do have that big step over here. Yeah. Right. You could probably try up this line here to the left of that rock altogether and cut across. But when you cut across, you've got to be That's super weird. careful. Because so I have seen an 80 fall over there as well. Yeah. Yeah. It should, it should go up there. Just the crossover, you've got to be careful. It's just that... That rev. Yeah. Does it, it, I'm like, is it in low range? Because it's nothing like battle axe. <laughs> and <laughs> At least we're not on our side. We're not on our side, we're past the rock. <laughs> That's gotta be fuel tank. You'll never get it out of the angle. 
Have the power. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch, bang, twist. That's gonna be a coke can, doesn't it? Side step. Rocket that little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hardcore hill climb was a success. <laughs> success without ending up with dented panels and destroyed car and smashed windows, broken mirrors. We made it here. We didn't have to throw anything in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't have to make any sacrifices to hardcore oh, hill climb. <laughs> 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 so I did actually have a look when we were scoping out the hill today. I had a look to see if any of Delilah's remains were still there, but no. It's all washed away. It's washed the, away after all the floods <laughs> that went through. So. Today, there is no sacrifices needed, and um, good old patrol has made it up. Hardcore hill climb. Yeah, redemption has has come back through. Like the boonies are sitting up here now. Oh, oh, look out! <laughs> <laughs> so we'll um, yeah, we'll continue on, and we will have hopefully a hot snack. From Lucas's We're going off this bull by trusty temperature. kitchen. You can just, yeah. just sit it in. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll head up to Love Hill. Or where, what's your thoughts now, Lucas? Rocky, Rocky Hollow. Yeah, I reckon we go by Rocky Hollow. Rocky Hollow. We'll take cool. we'll take an easier line in there. So it's just like a bit of a meander. But we'll see how GU performs as opposed to the Austin <laughs> Powers seventy five series <laughs> where we drop back in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, here goes the right side. Send foot down. Hard riding down, so you're bringing the front around. Is that a loop? Hard back that way. Oh, it's done. That's so close. Go, 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 go. <laughs>
in good tradition, uh, when we have lunch, we would normally have it on our intercooler, but no intercooler, as we, we have, have discussed. We don't have one anymore. <laughs> but Lucas has, well, not that you offered, but you got nominated to um, <laughs> heat, to, heat Roast. today's lunch. So Roast lunch. we will have a look. I'll let you have the honors. See if it uh, if it's done done justice here. So, so two, <laughs> burn bar, two burner barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it is it warm? Is it, it actually? It, it is. It is pretty toasty on the bottom. Believe it or not. Well, that's good. So. Oh, sauce rolls. <laughs> so. They look cool. Lunch is served. <laughs> no, no, but again, thank you, Lucas. We really do appreciate the time no that you actually do take each time we're here to spend with us to, um, yeah, wheel around on the tracks and um, just to hang out. Yeah, you know, we can we can call you and just say, "Hey, mate, we're coming down," and you're just like, "Yeah, righto, meet us at the door." Yeah. So again, yeah. guys, if you haven't been here, come on out. Come on out, even if you just want to come and camp for a weekend. Everything's here, facilities are here, and toilet yeah. showers, a lot. whatever you need. So, yeah. cool. All right. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, the reveal of the new family member to the boonies. Comments below um, with comment. names. Yeah, <laughs> drop a comment, and we will uh, we'll take a vote on what you yeah. feel is what going we'll, to suit best. What we'll do is we'll um, we'll select a few names that we sort of like. Of, of the names, that, the list that sort of comes through that sort of suit. And then we'll put up a voting system and then we'll have it run on our Instagram. Yeah. And whichever one wins is what we'll end yeah. up doing. So the person who comments on it and they win, we'll send you guys a gift pack. Yeah, so jump it's on. Be, it's got to be something like machete, machete. or axle. Something like that, because what's it going to do? Oh. It's going to chop up the tracks. You know? This is true, <laughs> but... I'm like I'm not being swaying one way or the other, but it's always been female names. So I well, personally of feel Axel. <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little more feminine. <laughs> so, but in saying that, no, whatever names come forward will come forward, and yeah, we will pick it from there. So, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll um, we'll catch you soon. <laughs>